Welcome to Mike's Beer Channel on YouTube. I didn't plan this out very well. Today, I happen to be at one of my favorite places, the liquor store. <laughs> and I found this. You're probably going to have to speak up a little bit more because of that. Oh, uh, that's right. Anyhow, at the... Background noise. The, the liquor store I go to that throws a party... <laughs> I found this. This is Shop Top Twisted Pretzel. It says it's a Belgian style wheat ale brewed with spices and caramel malt with artificial flavors added. I'm very interested in how that they came up with Twisted Pretzel with those flavors, so I can't wait to taste yeah, this. Caramel doesn't make sense. Right? There's no caramel in pretzels. But somehow they must have thought that that's kind of huh. what it was like, so. Okay. And of course, Shock Top Brewing, it's one of those anheuser Bush InBev thingies. Fancy bottle opener you got there. I forget how many shots. You can't put beer bottle top caps on the <laughs> candy dish. I'm sure I can. I just did. Here he goes again. Hang on. Oh my gosh, smell it. <laughs> it smells like a pretzel. It smells like a pretzel. That's just crazy. Now it's not as heavy as like a stout, but it's a darker color. It's not like an amber, like a yingling. It seriously smells like a soft pretzel. Is my position of the beer good, bad? I'm not getting it's any direct, high. directorial Sorry. feedback. I press play and I press stop. Okay. I comment from off screen. Twisted That's my job. Pretzel. I guess they need something instead of the orange they always show. Huh. Well, actually, it's not too bad. It's 146 calories, uh, 10.8 grams of carbs, 1.3 grams of protein. It smells just like a pretzel. I'm blown away by this. It tastes like a pretzel. It tastes like a liquid pretzel. It even has a little bit of a salty. Oh, it's very salty. Unless that's my lips. No, it's very salty. Mm. Yeah, I... This is crazy. <laughs> it tastes like someone put a pretzel in a food processor. I was quite skeptical of the name Twisted Pretzel, but I gotta give it props. It's perfect. It's a perfect name. It tastes like a pretzel. It smells like pretzel, but it's a beer. This is good. I think this is probably the mm. best shock top I've had. And it's good. Well, yeah. I would drink this again. Because a lot of the beers that are supposed to taste like stuff don't normally be that good. Although they had that one. I uh, like that banana one that was so oh, disappointing. Yeah, it was horrible. But they had that one that, uh, what one was it? The Georgia, the con one from southern tea they had that too but this isn't even like really heavy so you could no. drink multiples of this yeah you could i wonder if the, should it, i don't know it just tastes really salty to me but everything tastes salty to me. but this is light well not light light but not it's not a heavy beer but, you know, like, if you were going to eat a pretzel and have a beer, and that's what the flavor tastes like in your mouth. This would be a good beer if you're trying to cut down on eating. Because you could sit at the bar and just drink these and not have to take need to eat a pretzel because you'd be tasting the pretzel. Yeah, how many calories are this? Is it's only 146. Mm -hmm. How many carbs? 10.8. Hmm. That's probably less than For a pretzel. For a craft-style beer... Which is what they call it. I mean, it's not a craft beer, obviously. It's made by Anheuser Busch. They don't even hide that anymore because it says Anheuser Busch right in the bottle. It's got the Anheuser Busch logo on it because they used to hide it. Blue Moon still it won't, it's still hard to get Blue Moon to admit they're owned by Molson Coors. I'm I'm still just blown away by this that it actually tastes like a pretzel. Like yeah. I really thought, like ah, whatever. And not like a bad pretzel like that place we had the bad pretzel. Where do we have the 
have a bag before? For pretzel bites. Oh my gosh, I don't remember. We tried like four or five different beers. That place that used to be a brewery, it's not a brewery now. We went there once. Oh, they were bad? They weren't bad, but they weren't great. I thought they just tasted like the ones that you get, like the super pretzel that you get, and then you put them in the freezer and you microwave them at home. I well, thought they just tasted like that. They I didn't do. think they were bad. Oh. This tastes better than I those. just thought, like, um, if I'm going out to, like, yeah. some kind of a pub or restaurant and getting a pretzel, I want it to be something that I didn't, like, nuke it in my freezer or right. nuke it in my microwave at home. Like, the ones at Applebee's aren't bad. Mm -hmm. The ones at that German place are spectacular. Oh, yeah, those are really good. This is yummy. You should try this. Like, subscribe, smash the notification button. But you should definitely try this beer. So you want to give it a number? A number? 98? Wow. It's pretty good. Okay. I figured for sure it would be in the 90s. 98 is a little higher than I thought you were going to go, but cool. We have bad news, though. It's empty. We only have four of them left. <laughs> Were they on sale? Yeah. Oh, well, look at that. They're on sale. We can get more. You need to take us away from this. Till next time? <laughs>